What is going on guys? It's Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java game development tutorial. This is the 11th part in our series. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to get off of the gameplay and the logic side right now and we're going to focus on putting music into our game, right? Music, sound effects, all of that fun stuff. So what we're going to be using to do that is Slick and LWJGL. I prefer these libraries over using the JRE because it's a lot simpler to do and it's honestly I'm a lot more efficient so we're gonna go ahead and do that so first thing we're gonna do is we need to create a folder in our project so I'm gonna create a new folder here and I'm gonna name it res for resources and what I need to do is I need to link this into our build path right so I'm gonna go ahead and right click our project go to properties and go to Java build path and make sure you're on the libraries tab and here we're going to add a class folder and we're going to add our res folder here hit OK it'll pop up and there we go so now what we're going to do is add in all of the libraries we need right so I'm gonna have the link in the description of my exact jars that I have so you know that this is 100 percent exactly what I have for it to work with you so I'm gonna go ahead and press add external jars now do this after you've installed uh, the the libraries or if you already have it then great so find where the where those libraries are which mine are right here so I J input jog Jorbis LWJGL and slick I'm just gonna import all of them because why not so there we go and then what we need to do in order for it to work is we need to go to LWJGL dot jar and we need to go to the native location and we need to add uh, an external folder there and you're going to want to add the LWJGL natives so find where that is um, libs LWJGL native and windows because I'm using windows alright so there we go so now we have that in go ahead and play the game real quick make sure there are no errors that pop up or anything and we should all be good so we got our game here and all is well so what I want to do is I want to add in my music files into our res folder. So with this slick system, all we can do is play OGG files and WAV files, I think. No MP3s or anything, it's not gonna work. So if you don't if you have an MP3, that's usually what I do is I download an MP3 file and I go online, I just type in on Google um, MP3 to OGG converter and there's there's tons that pop up so should be able to convert that pretty easily so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to the directory of my workspace here which is going to be let's see it's one of these let's build a game and in our res folder we're gonna wanna transfer over what we have. So I'm going to go to music here because this is just where I kept mine. Edit music and I have these two here. Background music and uh, click sound. So I'm going to copy that. Go back into my directory here. Oh, that's not the right one. Res and I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So now we have that. Click underscore sound at OGG and background music underscore sound or uh, background underscore music right so if I go ahead and go back to my project and save it and then refresh it if I can do that I thought there was a refresh right there as you can see it now is in our uh, directory there alright so let's go ahead and build the class that we need so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new class I'm going to name it Audio Player. All right. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a map of our sounds and our musics, right? So I'm going to say public static map string sound. And then I'm going to call it sound map equals a new hash map string sound and you can control shift O to import that 
and I'm going to do public static map string music and I'm going to name this music map equals new hash map string music and this needs to be uppercase all right whoops there we go All right, so now that we have that, what we need to do is create a new method, public static void init. And this is static because we're only really going to initialize this once. This is why it's called init. And that's it. Then we don't need to initialize it anymore. I don't really want to create the audio player in here. I can just call it straight from the class. So that's why it's static. So I'm going to say, um, now we got to load in all of the sounds. This is basically what the init method is doing. We could probably do load. It'll probably make more sense. So what I'm going to say is music map dot put. And here I'm going to say um, th th right here. This is basically what you're calling it. I'm just going to say uh, music. And the value is going to say new music. And here's where we put in the directory of where we have our music stored. So I'm going to say res slash background underscore music dot OGG. There we go. And we need to surround this with a try and catch. And I'm also now going to say sound map dot put. And here I'm just going to say, um, menu sound and the value is new sound res slash um, and I think it is what do I call it click sound underscore sound dot o g g all right so now we basically just loaded up the music now all I'm going to do is get a getter method for getting our sound that we created so I'm just going to say public static music get music string key and this is going just going to return our music map dot get key and I'm gonna do pretty much the exact same thing with our sound so public if I can type today static sound get sound string key return sound map dot get key all right so this is basically all we have to do pretty much we're almost there so in our game class all we have to do really is just initialize it then so audio player dot dot load and it just loads up the music. So if we run the game, as you can see now in console, it's saying things. And hopefully we don't get an error here. And we don't. So it has successfully initialized and loaded our sounds. We're just not playing them yet, which is super cool. So here with our um, background music, I can say audio player dot um, get music. And I believe all we have to say is what our music track was listed as, which let me go ahead and check. I believe it was music. Yep, music. So that's what we called it. Music. And since this is the background music, you can say dot and I want to loop it. All right, so if we run the game, Now, I'm not sure if you can hear that, maybe not, but there's now music running in the game, which is really cool. And now we can also add it to our click noise. What I'm going to do is go to our menu, and basically just when we click, I just want it to play. 
so do, 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 audio player that gets sound and what what did I call it menu sound menu underscore sound dot play and I can just copy this and paste it down for everything we do except maybe the quit paste it there back button paste it there all right if we run the game now we now have sound to the game if you can't hear it I'm gonna go ahead and put a little video after this at the end just to show you what it does sound like but there we go so now we have sound in the game pretty cool so now our game just got that much better and really playing it right now being able to listen to the sounds it is more fun already so you know I got some dubstep uh, playing in the background here which is really cool so all right well that's gonna be it for today go leave a like go and subscribe tell me what you guys want to see next I was thinking of next episode we were going to go ahead and put in a store so we can start getting upgrades for our player and all that or I was thinking of maybe buffing the menu system a little bit adding in like a cool thing where you could customize your character and this is all the stuff that we can really really get creative with and really make cool so Thank you all. Let's try for 200 likes this time, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.